Hi, I'm Gabe Gantz with Modern Ag with another installment of our 2021 video series. Today we'll be discussing Trimble's WM Drain Program and the TMX 2050 display. In this display, we'll be running the FMX Plus app on the 2050 display. Once we get our field open, this is our main run screen for the water management WM Drain. As you can see here, since we're inside, we have a red satellite, but our first step would be to have our RTK base station set up because we will need RTK to do water management in order to have the vertical accuracy. Once we have that set up, we will create our master benchmark. Our master benchmark gives us a reference point in the field to come back to if we move our base station or need to work at a later date. This benchmark will then give us an altitude in the top left. That will be a live altitude reading. We can have a cut fill reading as well as we later as we get our line set up from there. So our first step of the WM drain system is we're gonna have survey, design, and install. With our survey, we'll take that first step and highlight it. And once we highlight it, we'll hit our record section. We will then drive our ditch or our terrace or whichever area we are currently working with our implement or blade raised all the way up, depending on what you're using. That will then survey the surface. And once we have the surface surveyed, we will then go to the design tab. And I will choose a line I've already got surveyed in here. Once we have our line surveyed, we have a design tab and we open that up and that gives us a cross section of what we just surveyed. So here in this example, we have a survey for a new terrace. Uh, as you can see, we have the ground surface across the top here, and then our grade line is our green line. We also have a max depth line, which we won't be using on this equation as we will be doing work on the surface. So in this survey or in design, we can do surface work or you can drop it down deeper and do tile work. So in this, in this instance, we will be using a bulldozer to make a new terrace. So we start by setting our outlet depth, which we have here at zero because we're wanting to come out flat. We drop the blade down, measure this point, come out zero. From there, we type in our minimum slope. That allows us to then shoot this green grade line four tenths up the hill. By pulling down our optimal depth and other depths, that pulls those constraints out of the way to where our slope will dictate our line and give us four tenths all the way. As we are doing this, we can also touch along this screen, and you will see the table down here and numbers change. We can touch along there at different distances and see what our cuts are going to be at different points. This allows us to kind of get a good estimate of what our cuts are and kind of match our cut sheets if you're doing terraces or match what your offset and capabilities are if you're using a scraper or a ditcher in a surface ditch. Once we have this done we can also go in here to the edit line feature and what this feature allows us to do is if we have an area that we do not want in this survey or an area that we want to do another slope we can split this line off in other sections and create new lines that then that we can then work once we have our design ready then we will go to our install tab and we are ready to then uh, go to work so from the install tab we can program in an offset of our green line grade line. This will allow us to offset the line up or down depending on what you're wanting to do and what equipment you have. If you leave it on zero, it will pull this out at zero. If you're using a scraper where you want to step down, you will start by offsetting this up and then work your way back down to zero and continue your work. As you're working along, you will see your chevrons go across the bottom here to see where you at, are at on the profile as well as your location on the map as you move up and down the line. This is a great feature and program for any sort of ditching, uh, terracing, or any sort of surface work involving a dozer, a blade, a ditcher, um, basically anything that you can make it go up and down and move dirt. Thanks for your time.